My name is Rubimba Vasango and I am studying a Bachelor in Mechanical Engineering. Climate change has become a defining concern of the 21st century and the need to move more aggressively towards renewable sources of energy is critical for the future of our planet. There is extensive research that has shown hydrogen to be promising in moving towards a fully decarbonized world. When we talk about hydrogen production, some of the terms that you might have heard are blue hydrogen and green hydrogen. Blue hydrogen is made through the process of steam methane reforming. However, this process is not emissions free. Currently, green hydrogen is being made through the process of electrolysis. This is a process in which the sun, solar energy, is used to generate renewable electricity. And then this electricity is used to split water molecules. However, the downside of this process of producing green hydrogen is that we are not able to produce nearly enough renewable electricity to produce the vast amounts of hydrogen that we need. I set out to find a new way to produce green hydrogen. And the question that has been in the air is, could we synthesize, make a new photocatalyst that could split water to produce hydrogen? And that's exactly the question that I set out to answer with my research. In my project, I am synthesizing in a single step titanium oxide, sodium tungsten bronze, metal composites in the hope that they would be more efficient photocatalysts. A metal composite is a composite metal that's made up of at least two different metals. What's really cool about titanium oxide and sodium tungsten bronze just individually is that titanium oxide has been researched and shown to be an excellent photocatalyst, just not in the visible light range. And sodium tungsten bronze has been shown to be a good enough photocatalyst in the visible light range. So what happens when you put the two together and synthesize them in one step, put them in the furnace and then test for photocatalytic activity? Every step forward in my research has come with at least a dozen more questions. So I went around and found the academics that had research in that area. And one of the academics said to me, go and find something that makes you want to wake up and come to university every single day. And that's exactly what I did.